We're in Rochester. Chris, Alder, 10th Planet Watch. All day. All day. We're gonna go get laser beamed right now. I don't know what that means, but I like laser beams, and I absolutely love the future. So, uh, Chris, maybe you can tell us a little bit about what's gonna happen today. Yeah, we're going to uh, Wanna Get Fast. Wanna Get Fast is a speed, strength, flexibility, conditioning place, and uh, my buddy Dan runs it. And Dan is actually doing direct current electric stim to help me rehab my dislocated hip that I got a couple years ago. And uh, preparation, getting ready for a uh, tournament coming up. So we're gonna go in there today and uh, Alder's gonna get zapped too. Alder is gonna get zapped. All right, until we meet again. Lasers. Zip, 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 zip. All right, here we go. All right, come on in. Uh -oh. Box art business. I like things with box in it. Gotta go up the stairs. Go up the stairs. Do, do, do. This is like Doom. I'm watching myself walk upstairs via a video camera. First person shooter? Yeah. Here's the gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I got nailed. ARP trainer. ARP trainer. What's that stand for? Accelerated recovery performance. Yeah. Oh, right. One of those. Yeah, that's what I was about to say before you interrupted me. AKA the laser beam machine. We're gonna set the phasers at stun today. That's all? Set. I was hoping we could set them to evaporate, but you got a tournament to do. No, that's that's uh that's when you're going. Oh okay. Two different types of guns that we do. We lose it, which is an overall relaxing feeling to the central nervous system. Lengthens muscle, ready to compete. You're ready for action at that point. No other warming up. You don't need it. Um, and then we treat. Where we like take the muscle, and we send such a current through it that it actually rids the body of movement compensation patterns, and it gets scar tissue out of that area. Did you fucking so write this shit down? You move freely. No, that's what I went to school for. <laughs> He's like, oh, you're coming in with the camera today. What, I gotta, I gotta memorize shit. <laughs> Dan, you should do this for a living. You're really good at this. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you could probably pitch that. <laughs> I could. I could open up a gym. Yeah. Once your competitors get a taste of this video, they're not gonna know what to do with you. Guaranteed so they don't... My, tack my bad leg. <laughs> Guaranteed they don't have the future on their side. Uh, I don't know. They don't have these though. Uh oh, look at those. Those are what we call ham hocks. <laughs> And you're shooting the uh, stems through you and, and you're doing those? Yeah, it lengthens the muscle. It forces okay. an eccentric contraction. Most other stims cause concentric contraction, so muscle tightens. I don't that. It doesn't loosen up. Well. This causes an instant range of motion. Very nice. And we like to be loose in Jiu Jitsu, right? I think that's the rule. Yeah. So what I'm hearing is this will help out your rubber guard immensely. Absolute question. That's the plan. We're gonna have to figure out how to get you out on the west coast and improve our rubber guards. Is gonna put some anal easy in that. All right, lube it up. See the lube. It's good for your skin too. So not only do you care about length of your muscles, you care about the complexity of your skin. <laughs> <laughs> so when you do put rubber guard on, at least it smells good. That's right. <laughs> and feels and nice. It looks good. Right. <laughs> feels smooth. You won't be It's not going to be rough. In Hollywood, we wouldn't want to have it any other way. Oh, absolutely. I want to destroy my opponent. 
but let him know how cool and good smelling I am at the same time. Wait, 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 no, no, just come up with some shit that my, my lip gloss won't rub off. <laughs> This doesn't help your spray tan keep on though, does it? No. Uh, sure. That's one of the problems. I always get spray tan on the back of my opponent's like neck. Before. I don't want to be orange until right before I can. Yeah. He's in your pants holder. And you're smiling. That's crazy. You feel it going right through your muscles, huh? Yeah. Lateralis. So we have a VMO and a lateralis. Both quadricep muscles that help the tracking of the patella tendon. These two muscles don't turn on fast enough when your knee hits the ground to break it so you're displaying pain there. So what we're going to do, hold on to it, is we're going to wrap this in and we're going to strap you in. I think what he just said is you don't know how to pass the guard right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sounded like to me. I did not say that. Rewind <laughs> <laughs> the camera. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Oh, yes. <laughs> All right. And just so you know, that part had nothing to do with the treatment. We just set you up like that so we could videotape you rocking back and forth on your knees. <laughs> just showing I can make you bark like a dog. <laughs> What do you say, buddy? How's that feel? There's like you'll feel like residual, like sh zapping for like a little bit. Uh, you'll get some tightness tonight uh, in your quad and your lateralis. That's because you just worked that muscle it hasn't been on in a long time. You just turned it on, made it do its job. So when you t when these muscles work right, they pull and it takes tension off your patella tendon. Right now they're kind of shut off and they're hanging on it. That's where you're getting pain. Huh. So, I've never had anything like that done before. I've never had anything. We're all coming out to Rochester this summer. <laughs> Everybody could have lined up to get, get lasered by Dan. <laughs> training system is based off of contractions at velocity and when you train at velocity your body recovers itself however if you don't fuel it right with enough protein you break down quicker than you ever have before so we can repair people we can repair people quickly but the problem is we have to make sure we fuel the other end of that to make sure their body's ready to repair so that would take us about 10 trips to get this pain gone we don't expect 10 percent success rate to I started working with the MMA guys and grapplers, you're probably in the 90% where you're pain free. Um, most normal clients or athletes that come in here pain free 100% all the time. Because every problem is a muscular problem, it's not a joint problem. MRIs, tissue tear, ACL, ruptures, all those things are because muscles fail. It's just fine that muscles fail. And this machine helps you do that. It's kind of amazing. Why, why, what's different with the grapplers and the MMA fighters that come in versus the... They're always getting beat up and if there's a new spot that's pulling on them, it's just, it's frustrating for me, as you can see. <laughs> but uh, we're getting good results, it's just, when it's not a hard percent for me, I get a little frustrated, but we're getting great results. The 10 treatments will clear that up until you start rolling and hurt something else and we're going after that, but it'll be a separate problem. We call Chris over here, Dr. Hotspot. He's got hot spots all over his body. He's got more hot spots than the... Uh, <laughs> cool man, thanks Dan, we appreciate it. Alright. Anything anything last words to say there, Alder? Uh, Can you come into town next time to teach me how to do a Darsh trip? I'm going to teach the Darsh trip. I was supposed to have somebody do a Darsh trip last night and we got some credit on TV, but it didn't happen. But we're so. a big fan of the Darsh. Yeah. Alright, thanks Dan. Alright. Okay.